YouTubers stop telling us to pay off our student loan debt by delivering pizzas. What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? A lot's going down. So there's all these videos that I've been seeing, financial tip videos, all these how to be not financially free. If you ever see financially free or financial freedom, which before didn't have a negative connotation, now it does. Because a lot of these MLM companies, those pyramid schemes, they use these terms, these buzzwords to draw people in. Because who doesn't want to be free financially? So yeah, um, I think financial security is still kind of safe. But anyway, so there's all these videos like financial tips, how to do better, how to save, how to be debt free, all these type of things, right? And I might do a video about this. Uh, at some point about like student loan debt and all these type of things right in any case so there's all these youtubers that are making these videos and one of the main tips that I see coming from these videos is if you want to pay off your student loan debt try doing something and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is deliver pizzas get out of here get out of here man Shit, I'm saying deliver pizzas there is nothing wrong with people who deliver pizzas but the weird thing is sometimes these people are even in, in the states and we all know how the student loan debt goes down over there it is a crazy amount a no amount of delivering pizzas eh? a no wheat fields from all the countries in the world and all the continents in the world that they could get the, the, the wheat off of, make it into flour and make pizzas out of for you to deliver to the entire globe that will get you enough money to pay off those ridiculously high student loan debts. Why is that being thrown in there? Oh, but I hear you already saying, no, they're saying that so that, you know, as a side hustle, not like as their main hustle, not as their main thing. That still isn't good enough. It just still isn't good enough. Look, what I want people to do, tell me how you came up. Tell me how you're sitting comfortably in your home. Lockdown has come, some places lockdown has been lifted, and you're still chilling in your house. You don't actually have to go anywhere to make money. I recently learned that some of these YouTubers even have assistants who buy food for them. Nothing wrong with any of this, nothing. I'm not a jealous person, I'm really not. I'm that type of chick that will stand, cheer, dance, scream, shout, boogie, groove, a with you when you're going to your next level. I'm that type of person. For real, for real, for real. I am genuinely happy for everybody who goes to the next step. Because I'm not in competition with anybody. I don't know how you guys see it. I mean, if you just even look at how, how individualistic everybody is, because our God is so good and he didn't make this world boring. So we're all super, super different, right? That means we're going to have to go through different paths of life. So we can't all be following the same steps. That would be kind of weird. Very robotic life. I don't want that. You don't want that, right? So if you get ahead of me, I'll see you. I'll see you. My time will come now. Because if you look back at life and things that have gone on in your life, you probably realize and recognize that that's how things have been going. You'll see somebody going ahead and think, oh my gosh, you're going ahead of me. Or just like, okay, I'm here, that person is there. But you can choose to be jealous about that, which I don't know what that does. It really just doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, it's robbing you of your ability to be happy. Okay? Like Cory Tempom said once, worry does not... What was her quote? Let me find out. Let me find out her quote. Okay, so like Corey Tembom said, worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow, it empties today of its strength. And the same goes for all these other negative kind of, is it a trade? It's not a trade. That goes for all these negative emotions that people bring up. Jealousy is one of these things. Like, it doesn't do anything for you. Meanwhile, Mr. Man or boss woman over there is making it you know, just doing the dang thing and you're out here sulking. So that's not me because your success can in no way affect how I'm gonna feel about myself in this life, okay? I think more people should think this way. So that, so I'm trying to say, I'm not saying this because I'm jealous. 
This is not coming from a place of jealousy. This is coming from a place of we need to level up, level up, hey, level up, level up, level up together, right? We don't have to leave anybody behind. We have to pull each other and push each other forward. So for me, quite literally, it is almost degrading to sit in your fancy house and your super established money in the bank. There's money for your kids, even uh, for their college fund, even though they're like two months. Uh, there, there's all these things, right? Set in place for you and you're comfortable. Not just are you comfortable, you, you're, you're making money without actually having to work. You have things in place that are making money for you in your sleep. That's the dream of everybody, right? But you're out here, especially in these coro times, you're out here telling people or giving the advice that people should go out there and hustle. And what is the hustle? They should go and sell pizza. Out there. Meanwhile, some of these people have not even left their house since this lockdown started. They've not left their house since March. I am telling you, please, 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 do what's good for you. But I'd rather see people explaining, yo, this is how I started my YouTube channel. Now the thing is, we don't actually really need to hear much from OGs about how they started their YouTube channel, because that was a different time. 10 years ago, the YouTube streets were different. The YouTube streets were, streets were different, there weren't even a lot of people on here. And so, you know, when you crept up on the scene, you were most likely one of two, three that were doing the same thing that you were doing, right? And now it's so saturated. There's There are two, million, two billion monthly active YouTube users. Two billion, two billion, okay? So two billion people use YouTube actively every single month, two billion people. So how do you get in there? That's the thing. So we need to hear more from newer-ish content creators, people who have just stepped on the scene and are seeing exponential growth. That's why I like this channel that I found recently called Kelly Stamps. Yes, that is her name. And she makes the most amazing, not corny, not cringy, straight to the point kind of content about how she just blew up basically and how she's chilling and she's very frank about it like I'm chilling I'm getting my cash I'm getting cash in my sleep this is how I did it these are some tips you know stuff that people are not always always want to share she even has a video which I'll put over here you need to start a YouTube channel in brackets here's why she gives a lot of interesting tips about why you should start a YouTube channel and how to go about it she had like 4,000 subscribers not too long ago. I'm talking about a few months, like two months. And now she's on 256,000 subscribers, okay? So she is telling us how to do that in this climate, showing that it is still possible. Some will say, hey, but YouTube is messing with some of these things. YouTube messes with the algorithm. <sighs> I don't know. All I'm trying to say is, it, it's not to say that even if you come on these YouTube streets that you're immediately going to be successful. There is no guarantee for that. But I think there's other things that people can do. There's other businesses that people can do. There's other things that people can do besides the tedious work of delivering pizza. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with that because we need people. We need people like people who deliver pizza. We need people who who are in shops stocking shelves. We need cleaners. We need the, the you know the bin men. You know we need all these people. This the, the super rich guys or women. I don't know. Never seen one, but I guess maybe there is a super rich woman person out there as well. Anyway, we need all these people, and we don't need to judge. This <laughs> Koro has shown us more than ever that every single profession is so so needed, so valued and essential. As they called it and it is essential so that's not to knock people who deliver pizzas but to say that people out here in the States who have like what if you watch Dave Ramsey's channel on YouTube you will see that some people have 1 million dollar student loans the heck they gonna pay that off by delivering pizza please 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 explain nah this is how continue to go in circles and people just stay po. We don't need to stay po. We need to lift people up. There needs to be a space 
if there's two million or billion of these YouTube uh, users every month, I'm sure that amount is going to grow and other so and more people are gonna make a channel. It's kind of like having having an email address at this point. Everybody has a YouTube channel. That's just what it is, right? And yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've lost my train of thought, but all I'm gonna say is stop telling us to do that. Stop giving this advice because you never had to do that. Yet you're living comfortable. So it's not really fair. Teach us what you did. Maybe we can still learn from from it, even if you're an OG. But teach us what you did. Or teach us or figure out since you have a little bit more time than somebody who's doing a nine to five or who's doing shift work. Make this into content because people always want content. I'm giving you it. Make a video. Do some research. Make a video. Maybe interview some people, whatever you gotta do, about how to make money in 2020 amidst coro, amidst racial tension, amidst all this nonsense that's going on in the world right now. How people can safely, not necessarily easily, because you know, you gotta work hard to get to where you're going, but safely in these coro times and just. A, a good decent way to have a side hustle or a hustle in general the pizza delivery thing it's old it's tacky and I don't want to hear it all oh, period in any case if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit thumbs down as well to the subscribe button comment because I really want to know what you think like because you obviously liked this video and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. I'll see you in the next one, which will be very soon. Make time for glorious life. It's time to stop. What? What? Living it right. God bless.